Good morning, dogs. What's up? There we go. Guys and dolls, be like Mike Workout and more right after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dogs, this Saturday is the Be Like Mike workout. This is a tribute workout to honor Mr. Caesar. It will be held in the Ox Gym parking lot, but if it rains, it will be held in the Ox Gym. Spectators are welcome to come out and watch as well. Yesterday, we opened up the Guys and Dolls musical here at the FHS Theater. Thank you to everyone who came out to watch the show. If you missed it, don't worry. There are two more shows coming up, tomorrow and Saturday. Doors open at 6.30 and the show starts at 7. Tickets will be $10 for adults and $5 for students. Hope to see more faces come out to watch the show. Lastly, congratulations to these four seniors who are going to forward their media career later in college. Doug Wood and Ella Grasham, who will be attending Ball State. Anthony Figueroa, who will be attending Purdue. And Carlos Lopez, who will be attending Indiana Tech. All four seniors are going to major in media-related majors. So here at Hot Dog Network, we are very proud of them. Now to sports and weather. Yo, thanks, and good morning, dogs. The Hot Dog Gophers lost a close match with Second World Conference rival North Montgomery with a score of 195 and 191. Luke Beard sees 45 and 48s by Caleb Compton and Dylan Garrison, and, Her and a Harrison Kiger with 50 accounted for the dog score. Charlie Beard sees 52 was a non counting score, and Xavier McIntosh, playing in non scoring position, posted a personal best with 38. Also in non scoring positions were Garrick Birch with 50 and Tri Seward with 64. The Hot Ducks will travel to Crawfordsville today to take on Crawfordsville and Tri West at the Crawfordsville Municipal Golf Course. And also, we got some action with the girls softball team going to face off North Mott. This will be starting at 5.30. And yesterday, the boys baseball team were swept in a doubleheader by the North Mott and yesterday with a 9-1 for the first game and 2-1 for the second. And Alex Lopez pitches with a 6-2-3 strong innings in game two. But we do got the girls tennis going to face off against North Montgomery as well. This will also be starting at 5.30. And lastly, we have track, but first, we're going to send it to our, our own location crew with a video. Hi, my name is Susana, and I got to catch up with the boys track and field team. Here's how it went. My name is Ethan Husbeth, and I do pole vault. My name is Jonathan Batista, and I do long jump and the 200-meter dash. My name is Marcelo Cervantes, and I run the 800. My name is Christian Rascone, and I throw things. I throw a shot and a disc. My favorite thing is probably getting, getting to run with my friends and just the memories that you create with them. I'd say it's just the environment that we have at meets and how everyone is cheering each other on in their different events. I find throwing really calming and, you know, just being able to talk to people since, you know, it's such a large sport. I get to conversate with, you know, some people who I'd never meet otherwise. So that's what I really like about it, you know, the social aspect. My goals this year is to first get to regionals, which I have to place top three in sectionals or put myself in a position to win sectionals this year. My goals for my season is probably like set a new PR, probably place in conference. My goals for the season, um, I am shooting for 50 feet, which will give me a state. Currently, I'm ranked second in sectionals for shot put with a PR of 45.10. My goals for this year is to PR for the 200 and long jump and to win county and hopefully place in conference. I've been getting in consistent reps, you know, throughout the summer and throughout the football season. So that's really helped me develop a technique that I can do over and over again. You know, a big part of that technique is staying balanced out of the back. You know, I had to learn how to get my weight over the left side just so I don't fall over and, you know, eat crap. I've been able to get on bigger poles this year as my plant's gotten better. And I've started out at a higher height 
this year than last year? Well, right now, I haven't improved right now, but since injuries, but um, I'm going to improve by doing some a lot of workouts, a lot of running, speed workouts, you know. My favorite place, place to compete is probably at Harrison or Noblesville, just because their track's a lot nicer than every other one. Well, actually, our favorite place to compete is uh, Noblesville. My favorite place to jump is Frankfurt. The pit is really good here. Allows me to move pulls good. My favorite place to compete is definitely Frankfurt, mainly because, you know, well, it's, it's not because, you know, like, you know, it's where I'm from, but it's mostly because, you know, people I know are able to come into Frankfurt more easily. Like, you know, Nathan from last year, he's able to show up to some of our meets in Frankfurt. So that's what I really like about it, along with my mentors, Cheryl and Jay. It was nice to crush up with the boys. Good luck on your season. Yo, great video. Now, let's talk about where they will be heading tonight. The track team will be going to Clinton Central for the county meet today. This will be starting at 5 p.m. Well, hopefully you guys can come out and support. And now, I'm going to send it to the weather section. Yo, thanks, Brian. Starting things off, I'm really not liking this nippy weather whatsoever. Like, why can't we just go back to the sunny skies and 70 degrees? I'm wishing the best weather outcome. And sadly, I still have to report to you for today's forecast. It's going to look mostly like yesterday's, but only a few degrees warmer, as it will only jump up to a mild 58 degrees. Overhead, we're expected to see mostly cloudy skies, but will eventually clear up, resulting in sunny skies for the afternoon. And headed towards the evening, some slight winds are going to sit around 5 miles an hour, so it does appear to me that things will cool down to 39 degrees. The biggest positive thing for the day is that there is a 0% chance of rain for now, so let's see how long we can keep that streak rolling. Now back to myself for some more regular news. Before we get into the lunch and birthdays, Brody, are you excited to be here? Yep. Who are we filling in for today? Who's missing? Are we missing Erwin? Is he yep. gone? Ah, oh, it sucks that he's gone. Are you having fun? You gonna have fun? That's good. Glad to see you're excited. Enough of that. Now let's get into the lunch. For lunch today, in lines one and two, will be spicy chicken sandwich. And in lines three and four, there will be Big Daddy Pizza. And a special happy birthday goes out to Cecilia Sanchez. Happy birthday. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Have a great rest of your day, dogs.